You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be trying Nanotech Warrior on a PlayStation Classic running a RetroArch by uh, Bleemsync. And here's another game that I am not familiar with, to be honest. So, let's just see how it goes. Let's see if it's any good if it's playable of course I don't have like a good comparison oh it feels like a on rails uh, racing shooter um, it's kind of like the previous game I was just playing uh, what was it Nitrous Oxide and to go. Oh, this does feel similar except you're not shooting bugs and it has that Tempest feel to it and um, I have no idea really Seems like I had a theme like going on with uh, some of my games that I loaded. I'm not actually aware of that. I just um, copied over my existing uh, BinQ files to my USB drive. And yeah, this actually feels great. It's kind of takes some getting used to. It has that same techno feel that's even a term that uh, N2O had and as I mentioned the difference is you're not shooting bugs or something you know it feels like one of those uh, uh, futuristic uh, games you'd imagine back in the 80s or 90s I never played this back then and uh, I wish I did though anyway just from my observation it seems like it's running well on the PlayStation Classic I'm the one that's not running well, given my inexperience, I'll have to apologize for that. could play this game a lot you know to those who have played this before please let me know what was it like playing this back in the day was it popular in your area that's the trouble with me is that back in the PlayStation 1's heydays, all I used to play was mostly 
fighting games. And um, if it's not fighting game, it's probably a racing game. But yeah, it's mostly fighting games. And, uh, you know, whatever is the AAA title back then. And okay. Closing that one out. That is... it for that game and let's see what's next Arg. ah sometimes it's confusing just to navigate here and you think you're pressing the right button, sometimes it just won't respond anyway. Um, Alright, enough of Nanotech Warrior. We're playing NASCAR Rumble this time. A game I would describe as a cross between Daytona USA and Super Mario Kart, if you could imagine. And it turns out pretty well, as far as I remember. Let's try it out. I really can't remember <laughs> well already though. Let's see, accelerate, brake, reset. Ah, I didn't see all the controls. All right. Um. The gameplay is running really fast. I mean, it feels fast. You get a sense of speed here. But if you notice the FPS counter there, you, it's not its not fixed at 60. I suppose you don't feel it because the game is running fast. Hey, it's always time for Alright. Don't get big headed. I used my uh, little power up there. It's good to be the king. So this is definitely not a popular title before. That much I know, oh, but. Um, I couldn't really resist the description. Daytona USA Super Mario Kart Hybrid. So I had to give it a try back then. And it was fine actually, it was fun. Of course it's nowhere near the perfection that is Super Mario Kart or Daytona. And just got blasted there. So I suppose I should really lose ah, I press the <laughs> press the reset button by mistake there. No more cruise control. Oh yeah, there it is. I was looking for that. Do you have flight insurance? Oh, this looks promising. So I'm trying to use out my weapons there. Just so you guys have an idea. What it does. Of course there are no shells here. Don't you feel special? It ain't in the bag yet. But since I'm way ahead already, oh, somebody's using their. Ah, oh, finally. I look at my nose. Suppose they're sponsored. Yeah, tornado thing is definitely a weapon. 
I remember using that before. So anyway, um, yeah, who needs I'd understand why Stay nobody would really try that. this. It's an EA game, and um, it tries to be Mario wrong? Kart and Daytona, but n it doesn't really excel at either. And um, don't you feel special? I'd say you can give this a try, but you can also pass it up. It depends on your uh, your curiosity, I guess, if you want to try something like that. And it's not something... Um, it's not a must-have for your PlayStation Classic list of libra the library of games that you're gonna load, probably. You can skip this one out. I think I'm almost there. Alright! That is NASCAR Rumble. Pretty weird game. But yeah, there is um, a lot of uh, racing titles in the PlayStation. Maybe you could try Destruction Derby 2 over this one if you really fancy something like that. And okay, I guess that's it for this video. Once again, an OTEC Warrior and Nesker Rumble. And my PlayStation Classic hanged again. We just got a black screen here. Thanks for watching 8-bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.